Hmm. You know, I wonder about the numbers here. So it's telling me mass of uranium 238 and mass of thorium 234. And it's giving me mass of alpha particle. And mass of alpha particle is technically different from mass of helium-4. Um, so uh, let me uh, try this calculation. Um, so for energy released in alpha decay of uranium-238, so the calculation based on those numbers should be um, 2217425 minus the mass of thorium to 1801.2, minus the mass of alpha particle, 3727.379. Hmm. And I have a feeling that if I just put in this, it should be incorrect, um, but that would be much too tricky. Um, let me give that a try. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, it's possible that I, uh, I programmed this question to be generous. Uh, let me just double check some things. Uh, so mass of uranium-238. Let's see what that is. Displacement. Um, I don't know. Uranium-238. <laughs> um, so, uh, in a mega electron volt per C square, uh, 42905, okay, mass of thorium, 234. Okay, those are the numbers. Uh, let me just check one thing, uh, mass of helium-4, not alpha particle. Um, yeah, the number I have there is the alpha particle, not helium-4, because um, you have to take this and subtract off twice the mass of electron, mass of electron uh, to get actual um, alpha particle mass. So I wonder if, uh, um, so the, this is not what I put in here that's technically not the physically correct answer, but um, let me subtract off the, the, so when uranium-238 decays into thorium-234, there's an emission of an alpha particle, and there's um, you know two extra electrons that's not bound to thorium two thirty four, so let me see what happens if I take this answer and I guess I'm subtracting uh, twice the so five point three two one MeV per c squared minus twice the mass of electron and see if uh, the this is 4.3, uh, if, if that will get accepted as correct. Ah, so that's technically wrong. Okay, I gotta fix that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is incorrect. Okay, so uh, I'll fix that. Um, that, that isn't <laughs> quite right. Um, I, I guess, yeah. So uh, actually, let me fix that now. It's uh, one of the things about nice about actually owning the questions. So let me just do that. That, that, that is not right. I, I'm surprised that in the old years we've used these questions, no one's actually pointed it out. Um, so, I mean, I'm happy to have this be one of the answers because to not accept this as correct answer would be too tricky. Um, um, So I'm gonna just fix it. Answer uh, one, two is mu minus and thorium minus m alpha 
and then there should be one for elect, uh, two times the electron um, energy difference in MEB accounting for two electrons. So the answer, <laughs> correct answer should be this. Oh, wait. Um, Uh, it should be and so one one or and so one two. So this two one is um this one one but then you and Okay, that should be correct. Let me just uh, copy this. <laughs> and let's fix that. Now I'm changing the number slightly because the system is a little bit picky about um, people submitting the same answer multiple times. Okay, so it's fixed. Now you will see that the in-between numbers are not considered to be correct. So let's see. Um, so if I put in something like 4.7, that should be treated as incorrect because there's no good reason you should think that's correct. But uh, you know, depending on if you uh, know to account for the mass of the electron or not, um, so this will still accept uh, the previous correct answer as correct because it's, I, I think it is much too tricky to um, require people to account for electro because it's, um, it, it's not something that people usually do. Oh wait, that is the answer, 2.4, 2.4 email. And I think I'm not enforcing any consistency between these two. I'm not saying if you answer this one way, it's fine, either way it's fine. 